Hello, this is Coach Rich Campy. Today's grin message, I am grateful that we got one fairly good day that I could ride my board. And the intentional message is, get back on the horse. Get back on the horse. And it's true, I am back on the board, but I'll tell you what, <clears throat> it's still scary. Even after that wipeout that I had, getting back on it again, I'm a little bit nervous about riding. So get back on the horse. Why Why get back on the horse? Well, have you heard of someone getting thrown off of a horse before? You don't want to get back on the horse once you get thrown off a horse. And that's the whole idea here. I fell off my skateboard so bad um, just a couple days ago that I was like, man, I don't know if I could get on that thing again. And how many times in life are there things that happen where we just don't want to do it anymore because we got hurt, we fell off, we wiped out. Is it in sales? Is it in business? Is it in relationships where something happens and we're just like, man, I just can't get back on the horse again. See, sometimes we fall into that pattern of believing that it's true. Because I fell off once, I'm gonna fall off every time, right? That's not true. The point is, get back on the horse. What we believe or think is true might not be true. So get back on your horse. So here's a big thing. When falling off the horse, do you learn anything? When I'm going down hills on my board and I'm not familiar with the sidewalk, go slow. Second lesson I learned, when it's rainy or slippery outside, don't ride the board. It's not good because it'll flip out on the backside or the front side and you'll fall on your face or your backside. Learn what you did when you fell off the horse for next time. You won't get hurt as much.